Welcome, Cancer and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you your bid month for February 2020. Please keep in mind that time is fluid, so whenever you're viewing this, it could be a past, present, or future situation for you. If it does not resonate at all, it's simply not your message. Please try checking your moon, rising, and Venus signs. Um, I want to let you know there are timestamps in the description box if you want to go ahead and jump ahead. I usually have announcements in all my videos now for... Um, or timestamps in all my videos for announcements, pre shuffle messages, and even a timestamps to go straight to the actual reading itself. If you guys are still with me, I want to give a huge shout out here to Alchemia Moon. Um, she is a phenomenal reader and I'm proud to say a good friend. Um, she is definitely amazing and so inspirational and I know you guys would absolutely love her channel so I'm going to link it down below. She just hit a thousand subscribers and I'm so excited for her. So definitely go check her out. Give her lots of love and support. She and I are also teaming up for a 2020 vision giveaway. So if you guys want to learn how to enter for that, the links are going to be in the description box. The giveaway is going to be extended until January 31st. We are each going to be giving away 10 free one question readings. So 20 winners total. So definitely check that out to find out how to enter. All right. So Cancer, I'm going to read your energy here, your person's energy here, but it's a general reading. So keep in mind, it can be flipped or reversed. You may even find that your energy scatters around and about the reading. So just take it how it resonates. All right, Cancer, I'm going to go ahead and get started up here. Cancer, I'm kind of seeing you walk away from something. I'm kind of seeing you let go of something, right? You're moving on to some kind of brighter opportunity. This could be you leaving a relationship, leaving your job. This could be you walking away from a longtime friend that no longer served you. You know what I'm saying? This could be a lot of different things. This could be you just walking away from um, something you had been holding on to, like a hobby or a dream. You know what I'm saying? It could be. It could be. A lot, it can apply a lot of different ways. But I feel like you're, what you're manifesting is something better. This is Gemini Virgo energy. This is you manifesting something better for yourself. And you feel like you have all the tools you need to accomplish this. You've got that, that pinnacle that's going to bring you success. You've got that cup that's going to bring you emotional fulfillment. That sword, it's going to bring you truth. That wand, it's going to bring you passion. You have everything you need here to manifest the future that you want. You're looking good here, Cancer. This is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy. You're coming through here as this queen of wands. You're getting your power back. You're building up your self-worth, your confidence. You're looking good. I mean, you're looking very attractive. Uh, the queen of wands is very beautiful. You're looking good here. You're walking away from something. Maybe walking away just from the energy of being held back or suppressing what it is that you truly want here. And now you're walking towards something new that you're trying to manifest and bring in here. Here we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Judgment card, and the Page of Pentacles. So what I feel like is, you know, for some of you, this could apply that you guys are um, studying, right? You know, you're uh, learning, right? This could be like a new skill. You could be learning how to get a new business off the ground. This could be some of you going back to school. This could be a lot of things, but I'm noticing him in this library here really hard at work here. Eight of Pentacles, really put all of your time, energy, and focus on something. Maybe you're putting all of your time, energy, and focus on this connection because you've realized you had to walk away from another situation to move forward to something else. You know, you've had that realization here that this is what you want, and you realize how to achieve it at this point. You've had some clarity, some illumination here. It's that awakening here. And you have to start small. You have to start somewhere. So I'm really picking up for some of you. This definitely could be a business reading, but it could apply to love as well. But... This is you starting off on the right foot, right? Starting with an offer here, bringing in um, communication, bringing in um, an offer of split. For some of you, this could be saying, you know what, I want to work on this connection. I've had some realizations here. Here's the key to my apartment. Here is um, a Valentine's Day chocolates. You know what I'm saying? This is some kind of token that starts you off on the right foot. For others of you who are, you maybe are going back to school or something like that, you know, this is you, you know, starting small one class at a time, you know, one, you know what I'm saying, that kind of thing, but you're putting in all of your focus and energy here, and you're looking good, and you're manifesting good things, you're getting, you're getting into your groove, Cancer, it's looking really good, we have Leo energy here, this is, you really, really strong, persevering, right, getting through it, standing in your power, Aries energy, standing in your power, uh, sitting on your throne, taking control here, this is someone who could be a boss, an authority figure. I'm also feeling that for some of you in uh, a love connection, this could be um, an age difference. I'm seeing a younger girl here, a much older man. I'm seeing a lot of pages here too. So 
this definitely could signify that some of you have a significant age difference with this person. That's just for some of you. But you're maybe consulting tarot readers or psychics, and you're trying to get a clear picture here on the future of this communication, trying to predict when this communication is going to come in because you've done made the decision to manifest this and to put all of your time, energy, and focus in on this. Um, and it can be vice versa. This could be your person. Just flip it where it needs to be, okay? But this is waiting for that communication. You know, you're sitting on your throne ready. You're holding back ready, waiting for someone to approach you with good news, right? For your person here, we have the star card. You could be dealing with Aquarius, a Capricorn. We also have water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This is a card about healing. You know, healing their thoughts, tempering it, like, um, that's balancing things out. It's wish fulfillment. It's a dream come true. It's a hope, right? It's a prayer. They're afraid, though. They have, like, some uncertainties, some doubts here. They're afraid that if they tell you what they feel, that it's going to make them vulnerable. And they have this... They have a lot of emotions here, and they think about this. They think about telling you, you know, you're their wish. This is what they want. But they feel like, with those doubts and uncertainties, that if they open up their heart to you, you know, it won't be reciprocated. They're, they're filling themselves with constant doubt here. And it's obsessive. They keep thinking about you. The way that they think about you, it's like they feel tied to you. They can't break the hold you have on them. We have the Magician here, again, Virgo Gemini energy, the Queen of Cups, the pair to our King, right? And we have the Two of Pentacles. So this is your person. They're doing their own form of manifestation right now. They're manifesting, they're calling you, and they're following their heart here. They're listening to that their intuition, their inner voice here. They're very emotional right now. Uh, I feel like, logically, they, they have a better hold on their emotions, but in their heart, it's a little more... Um, Oh, it's, it comes in waves, right? They get overwhelmed, overcome with emotion here. And they're very indecisive about whether or not they want to open up to you and tell you, you know what, I've been trying to call you in. I've been visualizing you. I've been praying about it. I want to come together with you. I want to spend more time with you. I want to get to know you. You know what I'm saying? Let's have some emotional communication here. They're having a hard time balancing and keeping their heart, you know, they feel very unbalanced here in regards to you emotionally and they want this they desire this new beginning you both mutually want the same things here for some of you your person is going through a tower moment in their life this could be you know the loss of a loved one loss of a job this can be divorce separation that kind of thing they're going through some kind of tower moment here and it very well could involve a scorpio taurus um this person they could be leaving a commitment or marriage or someone they have uh, ties, they're tied to, right? This could be them, you know, some of them that are, that are teachers. They could be leaving their job. They could have something going on within their career. Um, something going on within their faith. This also could be significant for me of a very significant spiritual awakening here. Because the Hierophant's a spiritual uh, figure, a teacher. And this realization that they're coming to brings in the opportunity for new love for those of them that are leaving a commitment it's bringing in the opportunity for new love a new beginning here new emotions more water energy because this is their wish right this is the dream this is what they're wanting this is what they're desiring this is an overindulgent kind of energy this is what i want they just don't know how piscean energy they don't know how to achieve it they feel stuck they're kind of like going through this tower you know they're just kind of like I'm not going to say like wallowing in self-pity, like woe is me, but they're going through this tower and they're allowing it to blindside them from the fact that these ropes barely bind them. They can easily, easily slip free and get out of the situation and be free to move to what they want to start that new beginning here. Under the deck we have the Three of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and the Temperance card. So yes, this definitely could be a third party for some of you, where things weren't balanced and equally reciprocated. They were given to too many people, or you were reciprocated to too many people. But what this is, is 
them feeling like there's an obstacle here. The Three of Swords, a third party energy, doesn't have to be a physical person. It can be work, it could be school, it could be uh, finances, you know, it can be family, an overbearing mother in law, it can be these kind of things, you know, a friend who's a negative influence. That third sword is something that interferes and comes between this connection. And yes, for some of you, that can be a third party because things aren't reciprocated. There's not a balance of time here. But I'm seeing that Sagittarian energy here. I'm seeing a healing here, patience here. I'm seeing things becoming equally reciprocated here. You know, there's been secrets here. There's been mystery. This person's felt trapped. You know, Piscean energy here with that moon. This person... There's a lot of things that are unknown here. This person doesn't know how to get out of the cycle. They don't know how to break free from their mind, right? There's a lot of regret, remorse, missing you, or you missing them, feeling that distance, feeling like they can't move forward to you, feeling like there's a block in time. Maybe them are, some of them are in the military and they can't physically get out to come and see you, and thus it makes them feel trapped and the time is not reciprocated. Maybe some of them are in a commitment or a marriage and it literally makes them trapped so they're mourning you, they're missing you. You know, and they don't know how to come to you. Some of them are in a career that maybe has them traveling, you know, and they can't physically come and see you. But I do see here some beautiful cards under here. You know, th after this challenge and energy here, we have that Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have that Knight of Pentacles twice. I think I see both of you meeting each other halfway, really. For some of you that are traveling to see each other, I see you guys meeting halfway here. But I see you guys, both of you, having this this polished offer to start something here. Something stable, something tangible, something long-term. You both rested on this, and you're both meeting each other halfway here. Mirroring energy, both wanting the same thing, wanting to temper and heal this situation. Under that, we have some beautiful energy here. The Three of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Six of Wands. This is a, a celebration, you know, and maybe if, maybe if they got a promotion and it's going to give them better hours, this is the two of you celebrating. If this is them saying, you know what, I figured out how to get away and now we get some more time together from my job or whatever it is that holds me back, let's come together, let's reunite, let's reconcile here, let's celebrate this passionate new beginning with one another. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy, they want this victory with you, they want success here, they feel chemistry, connection with you passion with you. I mean, I see the two of you really going out for drinks, celebrate, and have like a really crazy night, you know, exciting night together, that's what I'm going to say to make it YouTube appropriate, but I see the two of you coming together, and I mean just reveling in the success, the victory of figuring out how to balance and temper the situation. For your oracle messages here, we have shadow self. So, I feel like there's been this wall with this person where it's like, or this could be you, but there's like this stone wall here, right? But you've opened up that archway, that moon, that cloud that kind of like confuses you, that like um, sheds that fog over the situation, that mystery, that secret. That's what's blocking out their heart. That's what's blocking out the emotion of this connection is that stone wall they've put up to protect themselves, what they truly desire, what they truly wish for, what they long for and come to life. I feel like things are starting to unravel here. Things are starting to become illuminated for this person. They've had like this awakening here of realizing what it is that they want, you know, of expressing yourself for some of you. You can form this any way that you want. It's a blank canvas. You can make this connection with that. We have the magician twice here. It's a blank canvas. You can create anything you want here. You both have to be willing to meet each other both ways, but I see this relationship coming to life here. I see th this transforming before my eyes here. It's a little bit rocky. I, I do feel some challenge energy currently, but I see this progressing to a very positive place. I'm going to get a couple messages for you, Cancer. What messages, guidance, and clarity do we have for Cancer? Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Absolutely. Um... There's a lot of chemistry here. I feel like the two of you are going to come together, maybe have dinner, celebrate, you know. And I do see some passion, some some, uh, some chemistry, some passion here for sure. Something really exciting here in the outcome. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And for me, the chemistry card can indicate a twin flame connection. That's for some of you that resonate with that. But there's a lot of physical chemistry here. I mean, emotional, spiritual chemistry connection retreat it's time to disconnect from the world yeah you two are going to say you know what we've been so focused on our careers so focused on our jobs on our work 
let's spend the weekend together let's go away for the weekend let's do something exciting let's spend some time together let's disconnect from the world let's turn off our phones take a break you know not answer the boss's calls right now and just spend time together you know for some of them who are in a, another connection they're getting away maybe they travel for work or something like that they're getting to come home for the, for the weekend you know they're um saying you know what i'm gonna get some time away from my karmic so that we can spend time together we can disconnect and be together and really discuss where this is going to go because i see this going in a positive direction here romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring yeah there's a lot of um a lot of feelings here between the two of you a lot of uh, a lot of love a lot of emotion some of it i definitely feel has been hidden but i feel like it's coming to light and i feel like there's a balance being restored to this connection all right, Cancer, that's what I have for you for mid-month. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Please like, comment, subscribe. I am wishing you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.